the final pass was what was killing us. We didn't get it. We were getting bang, 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 and that final little pass to get off a shot or a chance, we didn't get it. Time and time again, El Dorado surged forward on the counter-attack, particularly through left-sided midfielder Shaquille Bertrand. But as coach Trevor Spicer asserted, the final ball was almost always lacking. Bertrand, though, continued to enjoy space up that left channel and forced a good save out of Jamal Francois here. St. Anthony's first offering to these highlights was not goal-mouth action, but instead a delightful piece of skill, which was too good to go unnoticed. But apart from that, they could not fashion anything meaningful on goal before the break. And this was how head coach Nigel Grosner summarized the first half. In the first half, they were running at us. But I told the guys just to maintain the knocking of the ball because they will just be running all about. The Tigers bust the second period from the get-go, creating several decent chances. Hakeem Lucas denying Mori Wabala twice in this sequence. El Dorado should have capitalized on a glorious chance in that period. Dwight Quintero threw, but a swing and a miss. It was a miss they would curse when Talani George nodded the cross toward Ajani Clarence. El Dorado defender Justin Fornelli intervening with the hand, illegally so, sent for an early bath. Jamali Clarence was cool, calm and collected from the spot. St. Anthony's with one foot through the door to the final. And as if a man and a goal down was not enough trouble for the Blue Thunder, St. Anthony's through Garvin Samaru would compound their woes. 2-0 to the Tigers. And that's how it ended, leaving El Dorado coach Trevor Spicer to declare St. Anthony's the better team of the day. Well, when they were keeping the ball at much, yeah, we had to run it down. So obviously we'll get a little tired in between. Right? And that's what happened, we got a little tired because they were moving it a little better than us. For CNC 3 Sports, I am Jassy Merrick.